I want to watch feel good stuff when I'm my mm. brain is fried. Mm-hmm. And, uh, I agree. Reality TV does that for me. And uh, yeah, sometimes mm-hmm. it pisses me off though. <laughs> too much drama. But yeah. Oh my God, so much drama. What's your feel good movie? Oh, what's my feel good movie? I think I love nostalgia. I love nostalgia. It really takes me back. Um, gives me a sense of calmness, but also like a weird bit of sadness and a weird bit of anxiety. So I like playing around with that. I I don't know if everyone would define that as feel good, but I like it. Um, so watching shows that used to bring me so much joy as a kid. So Matilda, Madeline, Harriet the Spy, Princess Diaries, um, oh, yeah. Miss Congeniality. I absolutely adored those shows and i find it super inspiring to watch the stuff that i loved as a kid and see how it shaped me now and then i just sit and i cry and i watch it and it's lovely and it's super cathartic and it makes me feel good so what's your feel good tv show it's a good question um recently it's been modern family just because i've restarted it all from the beginning um and now I'm on, I'm on to season 11. I think, what feel good TV do I watch? You can say reality TV if you want. Yeah, probably just reality TV and like light comedies. Um, but reality TV, oh, maybe just, maybe just like love it or list it where they yeah. like infuse so much drama that isn't there, but then there's like a mini competition, but then you get to see the renovation. Uh, yeah, reality <laughs> TV, but specifically reality TV in terms of real estate and interior design. Yeah. Um, I was just watching, I was just binging um, Selling Sunset. Oh my God. Yes. What a fantastic show. Did you watch show. it? Yeah. Yes. As and then someone two told out, me. I watched that, it in a whole, yeah. like in a whole day. <laughs> so someone told me that they were not real estate agents or something. Yeah, there's an article online that says that That's they're Josette, not. That's Josette, actually. However, I'm going to call her yes. out. That's Josette. <laughs> <laughs> Josette. Um, yeah, they, there's an article online that talks about how they're not real estate agents. But they are. First of all, they all have, um, they all do have their licenses to be real estate agents. But they're also like, they're actors and models. So their full yeah. day job is not real estate. But there were articles, like in the article, it said like one of them had sold a house last year and another one had sold two houses. And as much as they're not like a full-time real estate, obviously they're not. They're on a fucking reality TV show in LA talking about Botox and burgers. Like, no, they're not real real estate agents. I get that. They're not like full-time. But every time on that show when they had another real estate agent that was in the room, that person was so awkward and not made for TV. Yeah. Yeah. So... They but do are, they really like, sell the, those houses though? No. Oh, I don't. I think, I think they are. I think those houses are part of the Oppenheim group. I do think that they like own the listing or like whatever, like they wouldn't, I don't think they'd be able to lie about that legally, but I don't know necessarily if those real estate agents are the ones right. that make the sale. That's like, annoying. I think it might be like, <laughs> well, but they never go into the store. Like, I think if they actually cared about the sale, they'd go into the story of, Oh, you know, this person, Christine is working with this um, family and this is what they're looking for. Now let's go look at a bunch of houses. No, that's not the show's about. The show is about Christine and how dramatic she is. And she's like, fantastic. I love her. Um, And Chriselle and like her story with, with Justin Hartley. And yeah, it's not about the selling of the houses. It's, the drama yeah. between these that's what I like the backdrop of selling the houses. So you get to like, pretty much the point yeah. is let's look at this beautiful house. How much money does it cost? What would the commission be? Did they sell it and then move on? So I think that there's probably a lot more people behind the scenes that are doing the legwork, but the drama for the show is coming from these women. And I think they all still do have their real estate license, but I don't think they're like selling, you know, 10 houses a year, six houses a year, however much is a great show. Though. I don't know. Yes. Oh, so okay, what's well, your your feel good song? Ooh, feel good song. Okay, it changes quite frequently. Um, well, the one that never changes is "I Want to Dance with Somebody" by Whitney Houston. That is like my go to jump around dancing feel good song that has never changed. Yeah. Um, right now I'm super into the song. I think it's called "Feel the Rain" by Tones and I. Feel the rain. I'm Googling this for everyone. Yeah. Yeah. Feel the rain. 
uh, Never Seen the Rain, my bad. It's a good thing I Googled it. Never Seen the Rain by Tones and I um, is a song that I'm really loving right now. And my girlfriend hates it, but when <laughs> I have, was having a bad day, she put it on for me. And I really oh. appreciated that because she's not the biggest fan of it. Um, it's amazing. <laughs> <laughs> but it's sweet. Yeah. Never seen